Windows Server 2022. Welcome back everybody. I'm Prakash Pradhan, your trainer for this entire series. In today's topic, we're going to talk about one of the most important, you know, feature that we have in a form of your tool that's been provided by the Microsoft. That is your local administrator password solution. Normally, every time you join any member in a server, there is you know the client will automatically will be able to log in in their workstation with the help of their local admin username and the password so sometime you might not be you know allowing them to log into their workstation with their local administrator and bring any kind of change that might affect with the some of the features that's been deployed by the server because we do understand sometime we intend to override the server's group policy even by the local policy so that's why if you want that whoever log in in your client operating system those who are joining a domain as a domain client if you do not want them to allow to log in via local administrator and you would like to have a complete control even to the local administrator's password so that can be done only with the microsoft local administrator password solution so let's see first how it worked now every time any client join a server that means anytime any computer that becomes a member of the server so what's going to happen their authentication is done from the server of course we use a Kerberos for that so it's done so now when any client login in their workstation authenticated by the server they are going to perform their day-to-day -day activity normal tasks but sometimes if anyone knows or come to know about the local administrator password of that computer in that case that user can log in in this computer with the local administrator username and password and they can bring the changes that you do not want them to do so in that case you have no option except with the help of this local administrator password solution now what it does every time you turn on this client computer domain join computer local administrator's password will be generated from the server itself it's a fantastic feature over here now that means local administrator username and password will have no existence in this case until and unless you give a administrator password to that computer from the server even you will not be able to log in in this local computer via local administrator password that means it is quite secure now so that work is called actually by the your local administrator password solution so with the help of this we can set up so i'm going to show you in detail step by step now this local administrator password solution was actually introduced by microsoft it was released in 2015 actually they as a solution of your local administrator password so it's a product obviously from the microsoft and that is you use that is you know given to us in order to manage the local administrator's password so it's a it's the actually delegated ou customers responsibility to enable and configure labs for client computers and manage access to the stored password now the password will be generated from the server itself and then with the help of that server's issued generated password only you will be able to log in in your local computer with the local administrator username and password now these are the things that we are going to do today in order to complete our task first one we are going to install actually downloading this local administrator password solution you will have to download it from the microsoft this is a small size file and this has to be installed in both the computers in a server through which you would like to manage and in a client computer where you want that client administrator password you want to be managed now next one after that you will have to you know install active directory gp powershell over here in order to manage this and then you will have to extend to schema also then we deploy via group policy and then we will be testing so i'm going to make this video in quite shorter so that's why i have already typed all the scripts you just have to do copy paste okay now let's see how to work on this okay so i'm gonna close this powerpoint and let's go to our server so this is our server that we have over here server 2022 now here local administrator password solution is already downloaded now how to download you go to the microsoft download store you'll get it so i'm going to 
install it but do make sure that when you install in a client computer to be a part of this one you will have to make sure that you install that with the administrative privilege okay otherwise if you do not have administrative privilege in order to install this local administrator password this solution you will not be granted for the installation so i am going to install this so in this client also i have login as a server administrator now let's go to the server and continue so it looks like this this screen looks like this next of course you'll have to accept all the terms and conditions of the license agreement and we are going to install entire feature to the local hard drive so i'm going to do the same since we, we are in a you know lab environment in a testing environment so you don't have to worry on this so by the time it gets installed over here so let's go to the client where the installation was initiated and we are going to do the same work over here also so by this time, uh, in this computer, local administrator can log in with the help of the local administrator username and password. But now after we install, after we configure this, local administrator password will not be used. There are certain prerequisites that I'm going to show you step by step. Okay, so let's start from the server. So let's go to server. This is done. Now the first thing that you need to do over here is to perform some, some of the command in the PowerShell actually. Okay, the first one, you'll have to import the module, this admin password module, it is for that. And second, you'll have to update your schema. Okay, update ADM PW D schema. And then you'll have to allow computer, okay, for the self permission to manage the password to that OU where your computer exists. That means by default, the OU called clients used to hold all the computers, those are joined in a domain. And then you will have to write another one command, okay? This command allows you that the local administrator's password will be managed by the member or by the user who is the member of this administrator's group. Just two four lines command are there, you hit and your first part is done from the command point of view. So let's go to the PowerShell, okay? So I'm going to PowerShell now. We don't want to use update since we are in a lab environment, so it's more than enough, okay? So let's go to root and then hit the same command. So let's go import module ps first work is done and then you'll have to update schema as well okay so let's update the schema it is done and the second one we need a computer self permission in that for you where users exist now this command is meant for this i'll show you here it means this for you will be managing now if i go to users and computers then you'll find all the OU that are pre-created or listed over there you'll find that particular OU where computer account exists see this OU I'm talking about so this computer we are going to manage that means since I'm having only one client so I'm going to show you how to manage the administrator password of this client via server okay that is done and the last command that we need now who can have the read permission of this that local administrator's password those who are the member of the administrators group over here in our case okay so let's go to PowerShell again and hit the last command set ADM PWD read password permission who those are the member of this and we are allowing this with the allowed principles okay and where is that client in a OU called clients itself in this organization you need clients so it is done successfully okay it's now delegated see this all those who are a member of this group in that computer allowed that means it's delegated now okay so let's exit from here this part is done now after that okay after that you go to that client in that client I suggest you to create one user having the name admin and make that user a member of administrators because the last command that we use hit over here in a server if you remember this command means those who are the member of administrators will be allowed to read the password of that local administrator password so that's why i'm going to create one user in my client this is domain joint client and here i'll show you the one user is created 
let's go to the local setting over here and there uh, we'll create most probably one user if we have then it's okay I might have created for other classes for my students I can use the same account so let it open this snap in okay here we go local users it's good for us we already have one account called admin if I see the membership that are the members of administrators that means our work is done this user must be a member of administrator in our case since we are in a lab environment okay now after that we will work with the group policy now in order to deploy this local password solution now let's go to tools and we'll go to the group policy management after you install okay this uh, group policy that means local administrator password solution we are going to that group where you would like to deploy this permission so that your client computers local administrator password will be managed by the server administrator and where are those client computers here so all the computers those are the member of these clients which we have already specified in a command these computers will be managed by the local administrator password solution from the server so that means i have to make a group policy over here so let's go to the group policy we'll create the new one so let's write local mc password solution we're going to write the same thing over here so after that now we are going to edit it so now you'll find there is another one OU object is added actually in the form of your group policy if i go to the group policy and don't forget we are going to configure this local administrator password policy or this password solution on the computer configuration that is not for the user don't forget that go to policies let it expand go to administrative template and here you find this labs this has come over here just because you have installed local administrator password solution actually so now here you find these four settings among which we are going to select at least three now first one password setting we would like to enable the password setting local administrator password and what type of password would you like to have over here last letters small number small letter number specials that means this is quite secure and it's not easy to crack this one i have never heard that anyone cracked this so now password length 14 it is up to you if you'd like to make it lesser than and if you want to you know change the password is that is also up to you but for now since we're in a lab in the environment as i already said this is more than enough okay in terms of the security so let's go to apply and okay now next one name of administrator account to manage now remember we created one user called admin that admin is a member of administrator and by a command we have specified that administrators member can read the password can manage that password so i go to enable now here you will have to write the name of that user account who is the member of administrators group now in our case we created simple one user admin in that client computer don't forget that so okay now the last work we have over here enable local admin password management of course we want to do that enable management of password for local administrator account for this purpose only we have installed this local administrator password solution so from our side entire things are done now let's update this group policy of course we'll exit from here so group policy this is the only thing that you need to do so now let's update the group policy by the time it gets updated the group policy in your server let's go to client now in a client you don't have to do anything except installing your local administrator password solution tool is over here also see in the GUI also it shows now here we are going to update the group policy we'll update and don't forget the client machine has to be restarted okay so let it get updated in our group policy and then I'm gonna restart this computer server is not needed to be restart but the client is mandatory over here so that it gets complete group policy you know updated and that local m0 password solution also work, start working over here so now i'm going to restart this so restart it so bear with me for a few more seconds now we'll go to server in server entire things are set okay now your local computers local administrators password is now generated by this server with the help of this local administrator password solution now i'll show you that this account password is automatically generated over here 
before I show you from the graphical view over here. Okay. Now, would you have option because the GUI is installed over here also. Okay, local administrator password solution you can see from here also. But I would like to show you that from the computer also you can see that. Okay, so for that you need to go to the view and advance feature. Then you select that computer and I'll show you that the password is already generated and the login process is different. I'll show you by the time your client is restarted. Okay, now let's go to the server. This is the computer. I want to show you the password that's been generated by local administrator password solution from the Microsoft. So let's go to attribute editor. It will show you password here. See, just keep on scrolling, break down. It will show you the characters, you know, quite complex one. We selected as per your need last time. It's going to make a list. Okay, bear with me. It's some, see, this is the password now. See, this is the admin password of that computer. Now, if you'd like to make sure this is that password, I will show you from the GUI also. Okay, let's copy the name of this computer because it's going to ask you that whose password you are willing to see this. So let's go to start. Let's go to labs UI because we are going to see via user interface. Of course, it can be done from the GUI also, but we'll go for the GUI. Now, what we are doing, we are trying to find the password of this computer. That's why I told you now with the help of this local administrator password solution, your local computer's password is generated from the server. That means that's quite secure. Let's go to search. It will generate. See the same password you'll find here. Just a second. See again one more time. And even in a, that local computer also, if you see the password, it's going to show you the same password. So let's compare it now. See, JJEL, last one. I guess it's more than enough to compare. So it's done now. This is the password. Now the next thing, how do you think now the client is going to log in in that local computer? I'll show you that. And please don't make mistake. You are not allowed to log in using this username now. Even if you do, it will not allow. I'll show you practically. See here now. Just a second. I'd like to show you practically. If I see the password of the local computer that we have assigned over here, it will not allow you to log in with the this username and password. Though we assigned last time this username to be a member of administrators in order to log in with the local administrator password that's been generated from the server with the help of LAPS. Now, also, it will not allow you see m dash dc d sorry m and uh, then d c s v u then three zero uh, f j j e l this is the same password see trust me guys it should not allow you to log in see username or password but the password is same and the username is also same I hope you understood. We are trying to say that now we want to log in via local administrator password. Now, in order to log in via local administrator password, what we do? Dot slash. Then you give that password. Now it will allow you to log in. D C S V U three zero F J J E L. This is the password. Congratulations now, successfully it allow you to log in. Now, since this is the first login, it's going to take time. Okay, so after that, it will open this welcome screen and then your login from the servers manage or completely server control local administrator password solution. So this was the easiest way. I hope now you can do it or now you can configure easily. Okay, there are few steps and four line commands are also there it's easy to configure trust me guys this is going to help you a lot in order to manage the local administrator password in your client server architecture so if it was easy going if you find it fruitful please do like and subscribe thank you